Very young for that. Well, no. And I ran, I ran so far away from Clannock Kilty. <laughs> I ran is a country. I, I, ran, I ran. In the Middle East, right? Not to be confused with Iraq, which is where you might hang your clothes, right? <laughs> but nice. Iran are, well, I think of this, uh, how do you say? They're about two strokes short of an orgasm for me, right? <laughs> right, right. She's right on point. And I'm trying to think, because I don't understand it. But then, do you know, how did Boris Johnson get a good looking woman, 24 years younger, to marry him, his third wife? You'd have to say, I don't understand it, but luckily it is none of my business. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? True, yeah, yeah. Ha, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Ha. And looks wise, he's not exactly Marty Whelan, so, you know. Yeah, absolutely. But why am I talking about Iran? Mm. Do you have a pet? I have a dog, yeah. Ah, I was going to guess stoat. <laughs> a dog, a ba- basic. But yeah. <laughs> what? No, no. The na- let me guess the name. Right. Okay. Name of the dog. Let me guess. Okay. Darren. <laughs> it's not. It's not Darren. Tomato. It's not tomato. Uh, Richie Halley. No. <laughs> Spoon. No. Quincy. No. Uh, Padraig Harrington. <laughs> no. <laughs> Knife. No. Bono. No. Batman. No. Gilbert. No. Romania. No. <laughs> Cyril. It's not Cyril. No. Bernard. No. Johnny Stacks. No. Longford. No. Fat Pat. No. Michael Lester. No. Fuck, this all the obvious ones. <laughs> <laughs> all the obvious ones out of the way. I don't know. What's the dog's name? Ted Hastings. That's a bit obvious. <laughs> Basic. Yes. Fair enough, Ted. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ted. Where'd you get the fucking name? <laughs> anyway. Michael Lester. Your Ted could be in trouble if you lived in Iran. Okay. New legislation could have drastic implications for pet owners. Police in Iran recently announced that walking dogs in the park is a crime. So, and this is a quote. Debates around this bill started more than a decade ago when a group of Iranian MPs tried to promote a law to confiscate all dogs and give them to zoos or leave them in the desert. That's a bit fucking That's rough. That's much, isn't it, yeah? Even for me. <laughs> Leaving the dogs out in the desert to die through. That's fuck. fucking cruel. Even for me now. <laughs> and I've shot things. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. You've done things, yeah. yeah. And people. Yeah. I've shot people <laughs> for sport. <laughs> It's, it's even I wouldn't do that. Also legal. <clears throat> even for me now. That's bad, yeah. And I I left John Paul at the Donegal Rally when he was nine. <laughs> and I got caught up in a session with Joe Rally. All he had was two silicone purple and a bent fiver. <laughs> Took him a week to get home. When he came home, he'd lost two stone and gained a face tattoo. <laughs> John Paul. He actually got a 91 glands up on his neck. <laughs> and that was wrong of me. Yeah, that was wrong. Well, he never told his mother. Ah, oh, fair play. Because that's against gang code. He was in a gang when he got home. <laughs> but even I wouldn't do that. No. To the dogs. And I hit Hopper Dalton with my van. <laughs> Twice in three years. <laughs> Second one was unnecessary. <laughs> but even I wouldn't do that now. Yeah, you wouldn't do that now. The Iranian authorities say it's for public safety. Dogs. Okay. When I was six, a big dog, he was like a pit bull or something like that. He bit me, right? Right. Now, I bit him back. And we sorted out. <laughs> we had mutual respect then. We sorted. It was cold, right? But dogs are considered impure in Muslim tradition. And they're considered in Iran now, they say, they're a symbol of westernization. Oh. Because back in the day, uh, they would have had dogs in Iran before the revolution in 79. You would remember that. But um, they've banned the import of dog food or pet food. So people have to buy it now on the black market for big money, which is terrible. Yeah. But a good dog now would eat hunting. My dog now, you know I have a little dog called Nicky English. Yeah. Bastard of a dog. <laughs> he had bitten all the grandchildren. Uh, he had a field day at the birthday party last week. He bit everyone. <laughs> Parents, children, other dogs. He bit Dan. He bit John Paul twice. All during the hurling match. Wow. 70 minutes. He done more damage than TJ Reid. <laughs> but he's a good dog. He's a good, is he? He's a good guard dog. 
Do you not have to pump down off your bite speed? Not the fucking tall. I'm talking about my dog. <laughs> See, he's a good guard dog. Okay. Like yeah. if anyone comes in, he'd bite him. I don't know if that's the definition. R- regardless, no. right? Okay. He hates the postman. Always bites him. <laughs> he hates he bites the, the Iron Man. I can't get Iron anymore. He bites him. Uh, when the milk lorry used to come, he bit him most days. But he's a good dog. <laughs> um, at the priest. Courier, guards, neighbours, friends. He doesn't discriminate. No, no, he bites Carmel most of the time. <laughs> but he's a good shock. guard dog. A shock. <clears throat> now, there, there could be something wrong with him, I don't know, but we get on fine anyway. <laughs> but if he was in Iran, he'd be fucked. Yeah, yeah. Now, locally, did you hear about poor Paddy Luby? No. The wife went away for a couple of days. He had no food. <gasps> Four days... He was sitting at the kitchen table. Not indeed. Not indeed. He sat there. Stone still. But <laughs> not, not, not indeed. He couldn't eat. <laughs> Would he not? I went to but the... Hang on, on the fifth day, he broke. Right. And he went to the shop. <laughs> and he picked up a sliced pan off the shelf and he just started eating it. <laughs> In the shop? He'd never done the shopping. <laughs> that, he'd see the wife done the shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paddy never done the shopping. Now, I called over to him and he couldn't even make tea. No way. Yeah, he said, the wife made the tea. So I work outside. I said, can you boil an egg? He said, he'd never boiled an egg. Jeez. No, neither had I. Right. <laughs> so we put a half dozen eggs into the kettle and we let fly. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and then I got a hacksaw from the van and I took the top off the egg. <laughs> I saw the top. See, the wife would normally take the top off the egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top your eggs to you, yeah. And then I said to him, Chase, couldn't you make a sandwich? He never made a sandwich. Right. So... I said, we got a, lo- a big loaf of grinder bread and I got a 25 mil drill bit and I can I drill the core out of the loaf of bread. Right, right. And then we got a tube of butter into a, gre- a grease cone <laughs> and we injected the butter into the bread and he stuck the ham around it like lead flashing. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the finest. The finest? That's, yeah, I can imagine. It said it was lovely. It was the finest? <laughs> there, was a, there was a knife with a concrete dust in it. Yeah. Bit of chain oil. <laughs> but he survived. <laughs> Modern man. Oh, Real modern man coping for himself. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of modern men, young fellas nowadays, they're all on whack. What? <laughs> I heard it. Don't tell me to not. I heard it. Every young fella nowadays out the back of the pub doing lines of whack. Zippers, do rallies, French handshakes, ding doos. They're all what's, on. What's a French handshake? I don't know. They're all on whack. All on the whack. Filt. They're ruining themselves. I know, yes. Yeah, you of Ireland, are, you're fucking ruining yourself taking that whack shite. Shoving it, whatever, you up your nose and down your ears, the whole lot. <laughs> down your ears. Fucking eight and zippers, the whole lot, right? <laughs> are they not firing it? I don't know. <laughs> but our fellas, to be so whacked out of it. <laughs> I don't know what you're eating. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd be trying to stay right, stay, he- stay healthy. Yeah, yeah. Mind yeah. myself. Of course, yeah. Now, I'd go out the weekend. I'd have a couple of pints. Mm. That'd be it. Might have a whiskey. Yeah. That'd Ca- be it. Cap it off. <laughs> Do you know I'd round it off? But that'd be it. Yeah. Um, Dan would have a brandy. We'd get five or six brandies. <laughs> that'd be it. Now, if Dinky had Pochine, right, I'd have a bottle of Pochine. <laughs> So I might have 12 or 14 pints, 8 or 9 whiskeys, 5 or 6 brandies and a bottle of pochine. But that'd be that'd it. Be it. <laughs> that'd be it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be minding myself. Of course. I don't get drunk anymore. No, no effect. Because when I remember when I used to get drunk, just I came out of the pub one night and had the car key in my hand. And I tried my best to get into the car. And Jez, it wasn't my car at all. It was a wheelie bin. <laughs> How drunk were you? I'm fucking lively now, I'll tell you. <laughs> and I got, it took me ages to drive home in the wheelie bin. <laughs> <laughs> and then Cameron would wake up and she'd see the strange wheelie bin outside the house. And I'd have to let on I was volunteering for the tidy towns. <laughs> oh no, I slept on the couch. There's a smell of fucking weed killer off me, I'd say to her, you know. <laughs> and she'd say, oh, Jason, no, you're very good volunteering. And then she'd be saying, they give you no credit. There was no mention of you in the paper this week. <laughs> oh, I said, I, bastards, they never mentioned me in the tidy towns. <laughs> and there's 16 wheelie bins outside the house over Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fucking langers. 
I nearly, I nearly had to give her up. One time, I went down to play a match, and I was still stoicious. Stoicious I was. Your man hit me, I hit the ground, and there was a free against me. I got done for drink diving. <laughs> Because the ref knew I'd normally never go down. Yeah, yeah. Under normal circumstances. <laughs> Drink diving. And I'll tell you one time, this is a disgrace now, John Paul gave me one of these Jager bombs. A Jager bomb, yeah. Five days I was awake. <laughs> I went home. I milked every cow in the parish. I, tell you. I even milked the bull. Wasn't pretty. <laughs> I had to go to confession after. <laughs> oh, jeez. But I tell you, I'm never drinking that fucking Red Bull again. <laughs> Little. Little. I woke up, I was at a swingers party in Claire Morris. <laughs> and I tell you one thing. Look, riding your own cousin is like <laughs> hand passing the ball over the bar. <laughs> yes, it's a score. <laughs> but is that how you want to be remembered? <laughs> So you're like, that's why I say it, lads, stay off the whack. Stay off the whack is bad. The whack is bad. Whack is bad. Why the whack? Jesus Christ. Thanks, Noah. Over and out.